Yeah, in terms of the uh, the battle of the groundhog forecast, it looks like Punxsutawney Phil probably had a better handle on the coming winter than uh, Wyatt and Willie. Uh, Punxsutawney Phil forecasts six more weeks of winter, and certainly the forecast over the next uh, week to 10 days uh, is going to be uh, very winter-like in the Muskoka area, uh, not only in uh, respect to uh, snowfall, but also with respect to falling temperatures. Uh, this week, not too bad. But we are looking at a lot colder air coming down starting uh, Sunday, Monday into next week. In addition to that, as we talked about the snowfall, we've got a low pressure system moving through the upper Great Lakes uh, in the next uh, 24 to 36 hours. That's going to spread snow into the Muskoka and Perry Sound areas overnight tonight. Uh, and that snow will transition seamlessly into flurry activity, which is going to continue on and off right through the weekend and into next week. So with this particular storm system, uh, maybe five centimeters or so overnight tonight into Friday morning, and then another local uh, five to 10 centimeters falling during the day on Friday. I, I think with this particular system, there's a potential for uh, occasionally heavy snow falling, especially as it begins during those overnight hours. Uh, in a longer term perspective though, the other concern is lake effect snow. And what we're setting ourselves up for is uh, a pretty classic lake effect snow event, uh, more so for Perry Sound than for Muskoka. The winds look like they're going to line up from the west, blow right across Lake Huron and Georgian Bay, more into the Perry Sound area. And what this is uh, going to end up with is likely long-lived lake effect snow bands uh, through the weekend into next week as well, mixing in from time to time with larger scale storm systems moving through the area. But the other problem we've been dealing with with respect to lake effect snow is the amount of open water still on Georgian Bay and Lake Huron. Because the winter so far has generally been on the mild side, there's not a lot of ice on the Great Lakes right now, certainly not as much as we would expect for uh, the first week of February. And so the combination of a lot of that open water, as well as these very cold temperatures, we're expecting to move down through next week and, and into the uh, latter half of February, we're setting ourselves up for a pretty classic lake effect snow event. Again, initially it looks like more for Perry Sound than for uh, the Muskoka area, but as we get into next week, those bands may start to shift around as the low level winds shift.